Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. As you may know, the new expansion got announced. It's called Dragonflight. And with that, it looks like they're going to be making a lot of new changes. And you know, the cycle, every expansion, the last few from Mistweaver has been, you know, here's a new expansion. Here's the beta. You guys didn't give any feedback. And it's too late now. And guess what? That's not happening this time. So in this video, I'm going to try to talk about some things I would like to see. But with that said, this is the first time I've ever written notes for a video and I'm doing this for a little bit now. So I'm just gonna run through the list. If you have any suggestions or if you remember any abilities, like please comment that. I, I would be more than happy to hear what you guys have to say. But uh, with that said, let's jump right into the video. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Bring back cancel roll. I don't know why it was ever removed from the game. For those of you who don't know what that is, pretty much you were able to cancel your cheat torpedo or roll. And so that you didn't have to jump and it wasn't awkward like i know there's some fights in pve where you couldn't play chi torpedo i think it was like pain smith you'd probably take uh tiger's lust because you could roll off the edge stuff like that is just really annoying in pvp it's even worse because of latency and if i have to roll and get a leg sweep i have to jump sometimes and it's just awkward I, it's just a uh, our ability got nerfed from bfa going to shadowlands they nerfed fortifying brew from a minute and a half cooldown to three minutes and also reduce the max health and damage reduction from it <clears throat> now Maybe this doesn't affect PvE. It probably does, right? Because it certain probably lines up with certain mechanics. But in PvP, it really, really sucks because Mistweavers can't really use anything while stunned, right? So normally what you do as a Mistweaver is you try to preemptively see if they're going to go you. You know, you preemptively use Fortifying Brew. If it's a minute and a half cooldown, it's really not that big a deal if they don't go you. But if you waste a three minute cooldown, all of a sudden you're a kill target for sure. Chi. Bring back Chi from Mistweaver. We're the only monk spank without Chi. It feels kind of weird without it as well. Um... I, to be honest, I, I don't even know when they removed Chi. I think it was Legion. And it just feels weird. I don't f really feel like a monk. You know, I don't know. Maybe other people don't feel that way. But I've never been a fan of getting rid of Chi. Because if you bring Chi back, it also brings back Manatee back from Mop. And now, for those of you who don't know what that was, <clears throat> every crit you had with your heals gave you a stack of Manatee. And then you were able to consume the Manatee. I think it was like, I don't know, five stacks, 10 stacks. And you actually gained mana back. So it's not the Manatee that I have now as a talent that reduces the mana cost of spells by 50%. You actually gained mana back, which I thought was really cool. Hopefully bring back Way of the Crane. I feel like that was such an iconic spell for Mistweaver. And the idea of having Chi and Yulon is a, also a very cool idea. It just didn't work out mostly because it's just awkward using Chi and then you lose two spells and then you gain one instead of having Statue and Yulon. Maybe bring back Way of the Crane as a talent or something, and then making a PvP talent where you get the Legion style Way of the Crane, where it actually removes stuns on you. Now, that would be really cool. I think that was a 60 second cooldown as well, but just some sort of Way of the Crane would be really nice. I am I, I'm actually gutted that they removed it. It's so sad. It was such a fun spell. Mistwalk was announced, I think, going into Legion, and it was actually a talent going into Legion that replace chi torpedo but on the launch of legion what happened was it didn't replace chi torpedo so you had chi torpedo and you had Mistwalk. and what this did is it was basically a shadow step to your teammate and i thought it was really cool they removed it because apparently it was like overpowered in rbgs but ever since then they've made it so you can't use certain spells while holding flags or orbs so I would feel like it could be a balanced spell if you potentially have it replace Chi Torpedo. You can have a little shadow step to your teammate. Maybe it makes it easier to get leg sweeps or to avoid any anyone trying to swap to you. I'm actually surprised they didn't add this expansion, but Life Cocoon while stunned, uh, they could have easily done that as an endurance conduit. But for some reason, they didn't bring it back. Instead, they gave us a PvP talent that let us uh, port while stunned. I like using having Life Cocoon while stunned much more because at least you could you could use Life Cocoon on yourself or your teammate. Uh, port while stunned, you just avoid CC. It's not really helping your teammate that much. It's actually it's actually a nerf when you're being trained because you're your port is a 45 second cooldown if you port while stunned. So it's it's more of a nerf when you're being trained, but you want to use it when you're being trained because then you can use it while stunned. It, it's really weird. It's just an awkward talent. Burst of life. And this was an Azrae trait in BFA. And what it did is when your life cocoon expired, it would burst and heal your target and any targets around them for a pretty decent amount. I, it was a really, really good amount. And I think this is really, really important for Mistweaver because most of the time, at least in PvP, you're using Life Cocoon right before crowd control. So if you see a Polymorph getting cast on you, you have no interrupts, you cocoon your teammate, and hopefully they stay alive. But the problem is, with Outburst of Life, you you use Life Cocoon before the poly, and then you leave the poly, and they're in a worse state than what they are. But Life Cocoon's a two-minute cooldown, and should it's like not even... It, Life Cocoon isn't even respected. It's just go right through it. It's Life Cocoon. Just go right through it. You'll be fine. So... 
I think that it, you're adding burst life would just help with keeping your teammates alive while you're stuck in crowd control because that's what Mistweaver's biggest weakness is. In Legion, Mistweaver's had soothing mist while moving. I think it was built into Mistwrap. I'm pretty sure there's like a second paragraph that said allows you to soothing mist while moving. And this I is, is also a shocker to me that it hasn't been added back to the game since then, especially with the addition of Cloud of Focus as a legendary. I wish that we could use soothing mist while moving. It's, it's so so good. Our, we have so much mobility, but we're just we're we're a mobile healer. But for some reason, we just have to plant our feet the entire time in an arena match and just stay still and heal instead of dipping out uh, behind pillars and making it very difficult for teams to get to us. Uh, we just have to stay still. And I think soothing mist while moving would be such a good quality of life change. Spear hand strike. That is the kick that brewmasters and windwalkers have. Yeah, just give yeah, it just give it to us. Yeah, I'm fine. Just give it to us. Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, if we're a melee healer, give us stuff to do with melee besides spinning crane kick. That's that's pretty much it. I would love to have a kick. I know this is a weird one, but Yulon's Gift. This was a PvP talent that was randomly removed in a Legion patch. And what it did is it removed slows on you and snares. That's it. And it's amazing. And I loved it. It was really good versus Death Knights. Really good versus Windwalkers. Really good with anyone's spamble slows. It was amazing. And they just removed it. So... I would love to have that back. Secret Infusion. I don't know about anyone else, but in BFA, Secret Infusion was probably my favorite Azurite trait to have. And what it did is after you use Thunder Focus T, depending on what spell you used after that, you gain stats. So for example, if you use Thunder Focus T and then Rising Sun Kick, you got a huge versatility buff. And this was so clutch when a team is training you to the ground and you just Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick, get huge versatility right before a stun. You, it, would, it would be game saving. You literally would just save yourself. You wouldn't have to use any cooldowns. Same thing, I think with Vivify was Mastery. It's just amazing. It, it worked with all of your spells. And it actually gave you different options rather than just static, just healing and Thunder Focus T, Vivify, and Enveloping Mist. Rather, instead of that, you actually got to weave in some Thunder Focus T or Thunder Focus T with Rising Mist. Um, get some haste from Renewing Mist. I just love the being able to have different rotations based on different situations. I just think it makes the spec and healing uh, rotation much more fun. Shailun's Gift was our artifact weapon ability, and I actually don't really remember what it used to do, but your healing spells would create a cloud and your these clouds would give your Shailun's gift stacks and i think the max stacks was 12 and your Shailun's gift cost no mana and it would just be a huge single target heal i think it was a cast uh but i miss Shailun's gift so much it was very mana efficient you didn't have to do that 12 stacks of course you could weave it in at about five or six stacks was normally a pretty good sweet spot to use it and i just wish that they brought it back as a talent or something or even just a baseline ability any damage any i'll take anything anything meaningful yeah, no, I don't want a spinning crank kick buff. Nope, I don't want a 30% spinning crank kick buff. Nope. My spinning crank kick hits for 100 in PvP. No, I don't want it. You know, I would like maybe a complete overhaul to uh, Ancient Teachings or Teachings of the Monastery, which I believe is our passive that does the damage with the blackout kicks. Just overhaul this. It takes too many globals. It takes six globals to do the same damage that one judgment that a Holy Valley can do. Just... Give us, get rid of teachings of the monastery and buff our rising sun kick and spinning crane and not, sp no, not spinning crane kick. No, buff our rising sun kick, our blackout kick and our tire palm and get rid of teachings of the monastery. I, I think it's just so inefficient. It, it's obviously good for raiding, right? Cause you mostly have single target and you know, you can, you have time to actually build up the stacks, but in PVP, even in mythic plus, I just find it very difficult to use and get full value out of it. Any damage reduction, any. I would, my biggest suggestion would be add a damage reduction to Life Cocoon. Uh, Life Cocoon has a lot of options you can do. Burst of Life is great. Damage reduction, make it so the target that has Life Cocoon on them has takes 20% less damage. Something like that would be amazing. Ba do something with Revival where I saw, again, th uh, there was a post on Reddit like four or five years ago where revival gives everybody that's healed by it stagger which is the brewmaster ability something that you know staggers damage so that people you know can survive really hard hitting raid bosses some kind of damage reduction because uh, miss weaver's biggest weakness is just dampening and not having some sort of damage reduction maybe vivify every time you cast vivify on a target there your target gets two percent damage reduction or one percent anything any damage reduction is what miss weaver needs and i it's definitely a missed opportunity with the two and four set. Definitely could have had a two set with Life Cocoon as a damage reduction. The four set gives a revival a damage reduction. But, uh, you know, hey, you know, new expansions coming out. There's a chance now, you know? So second time's a charm. Giving, you know, some kind of damage reduction would be nice. 
Mop dematerialize. Yeah, I know that dematerialize was brought back into the game this patch. I can reassure you no one uses it. When I first heard that dematerialize was coming back, I was super excited. And then I read it. I'm like, nope. This isn't good. The reason why it's not good is because you don't take a lot of damage as soon as the stun hits. You take the damage about three seconds into the stun, which is when Dematerialize goes away. So, yeah, this version of Dematerialize is pretty useless. I don't think anyone really uses it. Maybe versus sub rogues and twos or maybe threes, but uh, Mob Dematerialize was much better. Zen Sphere could be another good option to bring back to replace kind of some talents on this row. And what that did is if you're. Zen Sphere got purged or, you know, expired. It would just heal everybody around the target that had it on. I thought that was pretty cool. It wasn't a huge heal. I know that we have Dome of Mist, but an, any other way to have uh, hot protection would be amazing because just Mistweavers are so weak into purges. It's kind of, it's it's bad. It's so bad. So Zen Sphere, Dome of Mist would probably do the trick, but right now we're, we're a little bit, we're kind of struggling versus that. Longer in cap. So for those of you who didn't play Mistweaver and Mop, there used to be a passive on Paralysis where if you use Paralysis on somebody from behind them, your in cap would be, I believe, five seconds long. So up from three seconds. So I just think that's cool. I just think that's really cool. You know, having some kind of skill to in cap instead of just pressing it, you can get a leg sweep and then get, you know, position yourself a little bit better and then get a longer in cap. Maybe put you a little bit in danger, but maybe it's worth the risk. Uh, stuff like that, I think is really, really, really cool. And I hope that they bring something like that back. I almost forgot about this one, but Nimble Brew. And what this did is it removed fears and stuns on you. I think there was a little bit more, but I think Brewmasters have it right now. But yeah, Nimble Brew, I would love to see that brought back into the Miss your um toolkit because then you're not really it gives you the option of not being orc essentially because right now orc reduces stuns on you but having nimble brew to also remove stuns as well as trinket is really nice it gives you more options a lot of misweavers were undead just because you know the nimble brew got you out of stuns it was really nice so yeah stuff like that nimble, just an extra cooldown to get you out of something is i really really like that the idea of quality of life change make the yard range on tires less longer than 20 yards I want to play Tires Lust in so many games, but even in PvE, 20 yard range is so short. And there's sometimes you're not in with the melee or next to the range that needs it. And in PvP, you're behind a pillar 99% of the time. It's so difficult to, to I, there's some matches where it's like, man, I really want to play Tires Lust, but I just can't because 20 yard range is just so short. So, you know, you know, a little quality of life change, make it, doesn't have to be a talent, you know, just like 30 or 40 yard range would be insane. A few things that I would like to stay in the game from this current expansion in Shadowlands. Clouded Focus, a staple legendary. I think it's incredible. So much healing and mana output, and you kind of have to pay attention to what you're healing to, which I think is even better. So Clouded Focus, I hope, stays in the game. I hope that Bone Dust Brew or Fallen Order stay in the game. I think Bone, both of them have been, again, staples this expansion, especially in PvE with Fallen Order. I hope it doesn't go away. I really, I really hope not. I think it's so fun to play it. And speaking of PvE, Age of Teachings of the Monastery, that legendary, I hope that that legendary stays in the game because I think that's the play style a lot of people have hoped to play when they're playing a Mistweaver. So I hope that that stays. Otherwise, I'll, I'll be really disappointed. Another thing I would like to stay in the game is Lingering Numbness. This is a conduit that makes it so you, when your paralysis ends, the target that was in capped gets slowed. I just think it's cool. It doesn't have to be insane slow, but you know, just some kind of slow would be nice, you know, or they could give us the Windwalker slow that, uh, that makes it so you could slow somebody and then root them. That would be really neat. Uh, I think it's called Disable, and you could just give us, give, just give that to Miss Weaver. Just, you know, give us a slow, give us a kick. That'd be fantastic. I know this was a longer video than what I normally do, but I really hope that th there's some dev out there that cares about Miss Weaver a little bit, just a tiny little bit to make us not terrible. I know that they're adding a new healer to the game, so they're probably focusing on that healer. I'm hoping that there's something out there to kind of reinvigorate the love and just give a breath of fresh air to Miss Weaver. We are such a fun spec and the healing is so much fun, but we're just, we've just over the years of Borrow Power, we've lost so much. We have lost so many abilities, so many passives, and I'm hoping that that changes in the future. Uh, hopefully with this expansion so uh, that is pretty much it for me again if you have any abilities that you would like to see back i would love to hear about them because i'm sure there's something i forgot uh, but that is pretty much it hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later